It was back to school for students in the Florence Independent School District. And the district in Northwest Williamson County is seeing signs of growth. KXAN's Mercedes Hernandez spoke with the district superintendent on how schools in Florence are already preparing for more students in the near future. On this first day back to school, Superintendent Paul Michael Iwitz estimates he'll see a few dozen new students in the halls of Florence ISD, and he expects that number to grow in the coming years. Addressing the growth that's coming to our district would be a priority. This year, voters approved bond money to pay for a new elementary school. He says it was needed in part to accommodate larger classes. It's a combination of addressing the growth and the age and condition of our existing facilities. The current elementary that we're in is really at capacity. It's nearing or at capacity, and it's also an older facility. It's the oldest facility in our district. Safety is, of course, a concern of the district's. That school bond also approving a new band hall and field house at the high school. Michael Iwitz says that was needed to keep students from walking outside to get to those facilities. Additionally, he says the school has hired another resource officer. We had one in the previous school year and we're adding a second SRO, so we feel like that that's a, a very nice addition to our safety and security measures. The changes that we've made have really been just to bolster what we already had in place. With the first day done, the district looks forward. Michael Iowitz says he and other staff are ready to do their best to take care of 1,100 students and any others they're likely to pick up in the near future. The growth presents some challenges. The safety and security is always going to be a challenge. Our people are fired up and ready to go. In Florence, Mercedes Hernandez, KXAN News. And Florence ISD voters approved that two-part bond last May. The package adds up to about $49 million.